Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Wise Management Suite to configure a Dell Thin Client running ThinOS. This Thin Client will be configured to connect to a Citrix virtual apps and desktop environment. You can see here in my Wise Management Suite console, I've already created some groups. So let me go ahead and click on the Groups and Configs tab and you can see I've got a corp root. So let me go up there and I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to add a new group directly below corp root. The group name for this I will call Citrix VAD, short for Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop. Go ahead and copy that group name and paste that as a description and then I'll go ahead and enable it and paste that as a group token and save it as well. Now the next thing I need to do is for my Citrix environment I want to add a security certificate. So go ahead and go over to Apps and Data and click on Add and I'm going to browse to a thumb drive where I've got a certificate that's required for my storefront site. So I'll go ahead and give that a description and now I'm adding that to my software repository on my Wise Management Suite server. Now I'm going to go back to my um, the app inventory and I'm going to add another file and now I'm adding a specific wallpaper so I've got a green wallpaper that kind of looks like the Citrix receiver so I'm going to go ahead and add that and put that in my software repository so now I've got a in my file repository I've got my green wallpaper that looks like this you'll recognize when you, that when you see it on a thin client and I've also got my security certificate so now I can go back to the Citrix VAD group and I'm going to edit the policy for ThinOS I'm going to select enable wallpaper and then select the green wallpaper that's assigned under the visual experience I'm going to go ahead and change that from the default to Citrix once that's done, I can go ahead and save and publish the changes that I made to the visual visual experience for this Citrix VAD pol policy. Now I, I'm going to go ahead again and edit the policy for ThinOS. Let me get this into a full screen. and I'm going to go ahead to my Citrix broker settings and configure this item. Now for the broker ster server I'm actually going to specify my Citrix storefront site. So you can get that by looking in the Citrix Studio you can look at your storefront URL. Um, in some of the previous videos I went through manually configuring the device where I showed the exact location of that URL but I'm going to go ahead and do that the full server name slash Citrix slash store which is the name of my specific store once I've specified that I'll go ahead and select storefront style and save and publish this new policy that's applied to the Citrix VAD group Now I'll go ahead and edit the policy for ThinOS and this time I'll go into security and you can see when I actually activate the security policy it set the privilege level to none. So if I do that it's a good idea to enable the admin mode. This just gives me the capability of logging in locally to make changes to the thin client if I needed to do do anything locally there maybe re even reset it to default when the privilege is set to none uh, users can't make local changes so I'm going to go ahead and click the select the auto install certificates and select the demo 3 Citrix cert uh, it's important to remember that I need to add all certificates so if I need an intermediate cert I've enabled VNC so I want to set a password for that and I'll go ahead and enable the quick mode and I'll go ahead and save and publish. Now I've got a Citrix VAD group that has a number of policy settings. Um, one of them, the security, the visual experience, it's going to set the green wallpaper. 
it will upgrade the firmware and then it'll specify the Citrix broker which is the storefront URL. Now you can look at the device and the device right now is in the corp root group. Um, let's go ahead and take that device select it under more actions go to change group and we're going to move it down from the corp root group to the Citrix VAD group now once that's done the WMS server will reach out you can see it's already pushed down the specific green wallpaper and then it's saying that the visual experience has changed so it's going to need to reboot the thin client for this to apply Okay, now the system is restarting one more time. And you can see in the event log it's received the full configuration, installed the security certificate, set the background, and ready to log in. So now I have a test user. I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in there. I can actually see there's an error message though, and it looks like I did not specify the Citrix storefront URL correctly. Let's go ahead and go back under our groups and configs. We're going to edit the policy for Citrix VAD. We're going to look at the Citrix broker. And in the broker URL, I can see that I've got uh, .btlab.local missing the L. So there was a typo on my part. So it's important that you specify the complete storefront URL correctly, obviously. So let's go ahead and save and publish that. So now the device is still in that group. We'll go ahead and go to the devices view and, and do a restart using the Wise Management Suite console. And the device will go ahead and reboot. Now it should have all the same settings. It will install the certificate if it needs it. It'll set the device uh, background to the green. Um, and now it looks like, yes, enter my credentials to connect to the Citrix store. And now it has the correct storefront URL. So now I will log in with my test user. And I can see that I've got some apps and some desktops. I can look at my applications here. I can remove them, subscribe, and unsubscribe. I'll go ahead and launch a published Internet Explorer. So now I'm running a wise ThinOS client with a Citrix virtual apps and desktops, the virtual app of Internet Explorer. I can connect to a Windows 10 desktop. Go ahead and log out of that desktop. That'll bring me back to my thin client. Go ahead and close my published application. And log out. So in this video, um, I had already had a WMS server installed. And I went ahead and added a new group. And inside of that group, I specified the storefront URL that was needed. I did some customization of the device and changed the security level and installed the needed security certificate. Uh, in the previous videos, I did some more setup of the WISE management suite, including the setting up of custom DHCP options so the thin client would automatically find the management suite server. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned something about how to manage your wise ThinOS clients and how to use them with Citrix virtual apps and desktops. Thank you and have a great day.